The James Webb Telescope, JWT, is the most powerful telescope ever built. It can see further into the universe than anything ever created, shedding new light on the earliest galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. It will also be used to study the formation of planets, stars, and the chemical composition of space. James Webb is the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope and is expected to revolutionize our understanding of space. The project is a joint effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The telescope is named after James Edwin Webb, the head of NASA from 1961 to 1968, under whose leadership the United States developed its program to send a man to the moon. The planned launch of the spacecraft into its heliocentric orbit of about 1,500,000 kilometers from Earth was planned for October 2018. Following recommendations from an independent review board, James Webb's launch was scheduled for no earlier than December 24, 2021. On December 25, 2021, the telescope was successfully launched into orbit from the Kourou spaceport. The first scientific studies began in early 2022. What are the objectives of the James Webb Telescope? Hubble spots new galaxies forming in the universe. It revealed that in the early universe, galaxies formed stars at a much higher rate than now. However, these distant galaxies are usually very faint and difficult to see with Hubble's capabilities. They are also very young and contain very little of the elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. They are also called dwarf galaxies because of their small radius and the fact that they contain a number of stars. Because they form new stars at high rates, they are expected to have very large amounts of dust and gas. This makes them very difficult to observe, as this dust and gas block our view of the stars within them. This is where James Webb's role comes in. As the most powerful telescope ever launched into space, its vastly improved infrared resolution and sensitivity will allow it to see objects that are too old, distant, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. This enables a wide range of research in the fields of astronomy and cosmology, such as the observation of the first stars and the formation of the first galaxies, as well as the detailed atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets. James Webb's mission. The most important mission before the project is the search for light from the first formed stars and galaxies after the Big Bang, followed by studying the formation and evolution of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems as such, study of planetary systems and determination of atmosphere, study and discovery of exoplanets. Despite the mass of the device, which is half that of the Hubble, it will have a mirror six times larger than it, six and a half meters in diameter. The telescope sees stars from the first billion years of the universe's formation, thanks to its ability to record infrared light. The human eye cannot see this light because its frequency is too low. In the beginning, this light may have been visible to us, but by the time it reaches us, and due to the stretching of space during the billions of years of travel, the wavelength of light increases, i.e., its frequency is reduced to the red and below visible light. The amazing discoveries made by James Webb Although only a few months have passed since the start of the scientific program of the newly launched space telescope, it has already managed to make discoveries that overturn our ideas about the evolution of the universe and contradict the concepts established up to that point. James Webb captured the most distant galaxy known to date. It's a picture of something like a red star that's about 300 million years after the Big Bang. Knowing that the universe is 13 billion and 800 million years old, this means that the galaxy called Jades-GS-Z13-0 is among the top four in the cosmos. The previous oldest and most distant galaxy was discovered in 2015 by Hubble. It's called GN-Z11 and is slightly younger than the newly discovered one. It is about 400 million years after the Big Bang. But this is only the beginning. In fact, researchers knew that by working in the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, James Webb would find distant early galaxies shifted toward this range. However, what they are surprised by is their large number. After this sensational discovery, 
Jehan Cardalepi of the University of Rochester stated that you can hardly find any empty space in the distant universe where there is nothing. In its short time in space so far, the telescope has confirmed 44 early until recently unknown galaxies that stretch back to 300 million years after the Big Bang. Not only the number shocked scientists, but also their structure. It turns out that primordial galaxies are much better structured than previously thought. Until the Hubble telescope, Astronomers had concluded that early galaxies had more irregular shapes compared to neighboring nearby galaxies that had regular shapes, such as a disk. However, James Webb's observations show that there are 10 times more primordial disk galaxies than previously thought. Thanks to James Webb's capabilities, we are able to see that galaxies began forming disks much earlier than we thought, reports Allison Kilpatrick of the University of Kansas. This presents us with a major problem as it contradicts theories of galactic evolution. We're going to have to figure this out very carefully and in detail, she says. Another study by the instrument found that massive galaxies formed earlier than expected. Swinburne University of Technology researcher Ivo Labe and his team claim to have found seven massive galaxies in the Sears field at redshifts between 7 and 10. We have indisputable evidence that the central regions of at least some of these massive galaxies have already existed for 500 years after the Big Bang, and the massive galactic formation began extremely early in the history of the universe, the scientists say. Another big surprise that overturned the ideas of scientists about the evolution of the universe is the spectroscopic analysis of distant galaxies with a redshift greater than 5. It turns out that they are rich in elements such as oxygen. Astronomers believed that the chemical enrichment processes, during which stars fuse hydrogen and helium to produce the heavier elements, took a long time. But the discovery that they are also found in early galaxies is leading to rethinking of our knowledge of the rate of star formation. James Webb overturns our ideas and those of scientists related to later evolution. The telescope also has a mission to study the so-called cosmic noon, that is the period that occurred about 3 billion years ago after the Big Bang, when the universe is believed to have been at the peak of its star formation. Rin Seuss of the University of California, Santa Cruz, compared Hubble images of galaxies with those taken by James Webb. It turns out that in the infrared region, galaxies appear smaller compared to what is observed in the visible region of Hubble. Until a few days ago, astronomers thought that galaxies started out small and grew over time. But findings by James Webb reveal that the Hubble Space Telescope has been unable to see the whole picture, and possibly the evolution of a galaxy is accompanied by much more complex processes. If you have not yet managed to shock yourself at how little we know about the universe, do not worry. You still have time, because there is more. In addition to everything listed so far, the Space Telescope was able to image Titan. Saturn's moon continues to amaze scientists with its dynamic atmosphere and Earth-like terrain. Studying that particular moon is difficult because of its great distance from Earth and its dense atmosphere. With the help of the infrared camera attached to the James Webb telescope, scientists managed to photograph the clouds of Titan. Astronomers discovered that the moon's atmosphere is multi-layered. Clouds are formed in it, which change their shape and disappear. This makes the assumption of periodic precipitation of liquid methane even more likely. Titan is one of the most Earth-like objects in the solar system. The Moon has its own atmosphere, composed mainly of nitrogen and methane, which is denser than that of the Earth. On the surface of Titan, there are liquid rivers, lakes, and seas, in this case of methane. It is known that a person can survive on Titan without a spacesuit. Only an oxygen mask and sufficiently warm clothing are needed. The average temperature is around minus 180 degrees Celsius. A study done in 2021 claims that Titan's craters have all the necessary qualities for the emergence of life. Although NASA's Space Telescope mission is just beginning, scientists are aware that they will have to change many of their views. Sometimes I wake up at 3 in the morning and wonder if everything I've been doing has been wrong, says Kirkpatrick. The James Webb Telescope is an incredible feat of space and astronomical engineering. It will allow astronomers to see the universe in a way we've never seen before. The telescope will allow us to look back in time to see the universe as it was billions of years ago. James Webb will be very short-lived. The term of operation is expected to be no less than five years, 
and the amount of refrigerant in it is enough for about 10 years of operation. During that time, it will study the universe in a way that no other telescope has been able to. One thing is certain. We can expect many more amazing discoveries from James Webb, who is poised to revolutionize the field of astronomy. These new facts will most likely shed light on our origins and give us a clearer picture of the future of the universe. If you want to support what we are doing, please like this video and subscribe to the channel.